Is that the Football League? Yeah. All right, well, I uh, just got a bit of, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what just happened at the Valley. Now, when, when the opposition put the ball in our net and we don't put one in their net, that's a win for Blackburn, right? It's not a win. Well, there must be a draw for Blackburn, right? Because there's no other outcome. It's either a win or a draw. Or a defeat. No, 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 no. This is Blackburn Rovers. We, we don't do defeats. Hello? Hello? That's right, folks. Back once again with another match review. This time picking apart Blackburn's penultimate game of the season. And it was... Believe it or not, a defeat at the hands of playoff chasing Charlton. Now, if you will talk about that match in just one second, but if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers, whether it is during the season or in post-season. Plenty more Rovers content coming up, uh, so please stick around. But yes, we did suffer at the hands of playoff chasing Charlton, 1-0. Uh, the only goal was a pretty much a sloppy goal, in fact, uh, by the guy... Pierce, I'm not sure of his name, so if you are a Charlton fan, drop it in the description below so I know for next time. But yes, that was the only major highlight and pretty much the only real uh, chance Charlton had. So they took it and they uh, they ran away with it. We'll talk more about the, the statistics in just one second. But that result for Charlton puts them in, uh, keeps them in fifth place, 71 places. Uh, 71 points, sorry. Uh, Peterborough, their uh, playoff dreams are over. They can only mathematically get 67 points. As for Bradford, they can still got two games left, which will put them on 67 points. So they're out of the contention. So it's really up to Plymouth. Plymouth still have two games in hand, so does Scunthorpe. So a win for Plymouth whenever they play next. We'll make it a little bit more interesting, uh, as that will put them on 71 points out of social comfort. So it's not sealed for Charlton. But anyway, let's not talk about Char uh, Charlton a bit more. Let's talk more about Rovers. Uh, their match statistics look like this. We only had 45% possession. Uh, and main, many of the reasons why would probably be down to the team selection. A lot of our creative uh, players and key uh, key members of the squad were not involved today. That's right, Tony Moby mixing it up a little bit. Uh, take a look at this there. Look at the look at the statistics. There's six shots for Rovers, only one for Charlton. Uh, three shots on target for Rovers, only one for Charlton. And guess what? That went in the back of the net. Uh, seven corners for Rovers, 19 fouls. So it, you know, yes, we did suffer a defeat, but it doesn't look like we get we we uh, we we didn't give up trying. There was a lot of efforts involved for Rovers. Second half was a lot much better than the first. Um, but all in all, yeah, uh, I'm not really bothered. I'm not really bothered. I'm going to put my hand on my heart here. I'm not really bothered. Yes, it would be nice to win the uh, title because a certain Paul Cook has rubbed me up the wrong way. Uh, and I'd just like to get one over, another one over on Wigan. I know uh, Bradley Dack pipped Nick, Nick Powell for the old League One Player of the Year award. But it would also be nice and a little bit of justice for Rovers if we can, you know, shove his face in it a little bit. So there is still a small window of opportunity uh, next weekend if we were to beat Oxford at Ewood Park. Which I know, I think we will. I think we will. And Wigan will take on Doncaster at their place, at the keep mode. So hopefully uh, Marquise uh, and Coppinger and the like have oh, got their game face on and really give it to them. Um, because uh, I know they don't really have anything to play for. They are pretty much safe, I believe. I don't think no one can... Yep, yeah, they are safe uh, by a long while. So, uh, Doncaster don't really have anything to play for. But, hey, uh, a comment made earlier by a fan, uh, you know, in regard to our little pitch invasion last week, because uh, I think a win for Wigan, and there will be a little bit of... Uh, some dramatic scenes at the keep mode once again, which I'm sure they don't want to go down that road. Anyway, let's take a look at the starting 11s. First and foremost, the hosts, uh, Charlton, and the uh, managerial ship of Lee Bowyer. Uh, Amos in goal, Consa, Bauer, Pierce, Page, Reeves, Kashi, Foster Kasky, Marshall, Ajose, and McGuinness. Let's take a look at the interesting lineup that Mowbray put out. Lightweiler got a start in goal. It was a, a, a five-man defence with Dowling, Lenehan, Callis, Bell into midfield, Evans and Small will regain their place. Armstrong, Samuel, and my main man, pain in the ass, uh, Jack Payne. Uh, let's take a look at my 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 ratings. To be honest with you, that's pretty. That's, that's being very generous to these players because I don't, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna. Rip, well, they've already written themselves off some of these players, but uh, yeah, Lightwater got seven, Tony got six, Lennon got seven, Mogul got six, Callis got six, Bell got a seven, Evans got six, Small got seven, Armstrong got a six, Payne got a five. Samuel got five. 
So, for me, uh, one, two, there's three of those, three people on there, three people in that start 11, I would not like to see them back in a Blackburn Rovers jersey again. I'm not going to tell you who, because I'm going to, I'm going to keep uh, that information under wraps just for now, because I'm going to be doing a, a special buy, keep or sell video um, uh, once the season comes, wraps up, and maybe towards, towards the start of June. Um, and I'll, and I'll disclose all my information there about who should be staying, who should be, who we should keep, and who we should maybe try and bring back. Uh, but if you want to put your own opinions about the players that we should buy, keep, or sell, whack it in the comments section below, and I will gladly listen to your opinions. And I know people out there are moaning about the team selection, but to be honest with you, hey, we, 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 we got what we wanted, promotion. If, if the titles have been wrapped up, will people moan about... Uh, uh, the team selection then probably not, but what 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 difference does it make? It's it's uh, okay. You might get a trophy about it, but it's a League One trophy to be honest with you. We shouldn't be in this division anyway, so I'm not really too fussed about it. I st obviously I still would like to just because of how Paul Paul Cook has reacted recently, um, and that really irks me. It really irks me, and uh, and I'd like to give you know just 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 for argument's sake, just to rub his face in it a little bit. That's my only reason for it. That's my only reason for it. If he hadn't made those comments, fair dues. We're gonna you can have it. But you know, I'm I'm just I'm just over the moon that we have these two games to to have a little bad performance like this. And it was a good I think it was a good opportunity to see some of these players in action. Uh Payne, you know, I have already made my mind up of Payne. This wasn't a, a, one of the last opportunities for him to change my mind. Nope. Not happening. Anyway, let's take a look at around the grounds of what's been happening at the other matches in League One. Walsall did themselves a huge favour, and it looks like they have secured League One football or, or not. Now, they could still possibly go down, depending on how Rochdale fare. And then Rochdale were beaten 2-1 by Oxford. MK Dons already relegated, uh, lost to Scunthorpe, who kept themselves in playoff contention. Peterborough. They won, but it's not good enough. Wigan obviously won one uh, draw against ASC Wimbledon. Berry beat Portsmouth. Too little, too late for Berry. They're already down. Southend and Bradford, two teams who were you know, fancied the chances earlier in the season. Uh, it was actually a 2 0 away win for Southend. Gillingham and Bristol, uh, a 1 1 draw. Oldham kept themselves uh, above the relegation zone for now, but they're still in deep, deep, deep trouble. Um, uh, Charlton, obviously, yeah. Blackpool and Shrewsbury were held to a 1 1 draw, and Plymouth beat Rotherham to uh, really give themselves a good springboard to get themselves in the playoff contention. Now, let's take a look at those playoffs. So, Shrewsbury and Rotherham are sealed. Uh, Charlton's come for Plymouth, the teams that are battling out for those two spots. Um, I don't know who they play. And I know they've got an extra game in, on, on, on the table for Plymouth and Scunthorpe. I'm not sure if they play each other or what. So uh, it's going to be interesting how that pans out. I don't really have... I, honestly, I'd like... To be honest with you, I'd like Shrewsbury to go up because they've, they they deserve it. Um, but I have... It doesn't really bother me. It doesn't really bother me who comes up. So you know a little bit what I had to say about the match. What did the gaffer have to say shortly after the final whistle between Charlton and Blackburn Rovers? I thought we needed to be a bit braver with the ball for staff. Um, our second half showed our spirit of what we've been showing all season. Um, thought there were some bizarre decisions from the officials today, but um, that's okay. I think Charlton worked really hard, um, and I can't, I can't, you know, I don't criticise the team. I thought we had some good opportunities second half to score and didn't take them, but um, it was okay. That's fine. As I said to you yesterday, it's. We had half a team unavailable really today, but um, it is what it is. It's, I thought this, the spirit of the team was still there and um, not overly disappointing. Disappointing for the supporters who came, of course, they would have scored a goal in that goal. Would have been a nice second half for us, but uh, it wasn't to be. It wasn't, I've seen it, I've watched it three times. It was. He wasn't in the box, it wasn't a penalty, but it was a stonewall sending off. He's running through and the boys just brings him down. The ball doesn't deviate, there was no contact with the ball. So, uh, you have to, it's just a shame he can't sit and talk to referees after games, really. You know, it's uh, why on earth he didn't he didn't give anything. I don't know, really. But um, as I say, I've I watched it. it was, there's no contact. He's running through on goal. And he's brought down from behind. It's uh, it's. But never mind. There you go. Yep. Every every change was enforced. Yep. 
Um, I said to you the other day that the team have been soldiering on, really. I think... Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's, I hope that Bennett and Williams will be ready for next week, but uh, it was just too much of a risk to, to play them a day there where they are injured and, uh, and it might have just compounded it and they probably won't do any training this week, but hopefully we'll, we'll get them out on the pitch next weekend. Well, it's a, Raya, I don't think, will play. Um, Dak's got no chance of playing. Um, I'm trying to think who else we've got. Conway's broken a metatarsal. I mean, you know, it's... it's um, so, no, I don't think so. I think we'll try and get um, try and get Williams and Bennett on the pitch if we can next week. But again, that'll be decided how, how, this, how this week's training goes. Um, so I, I, to be honest, I, I'm not overly interested in you know the clubs. To be honest, I'm just interested in us making sure we got out of this division. And um, so, no, not really. I thought the team played really well. I thought they tried really, give it a real go. I said, I said to you, first half, I don't think we were brave enough with the ball. Second half, we showed the spirit that we normally do and uh, probably deserve to get something from it. We didn't. Um, there were some bizarre decisions. It's OK. It's, you get the most weeks in this league. It's, it's, we have to just get on with it. No, not really. I think, we, I think they, they, they give the best that they could, I think. Um, and yet, sometimes, you know, top players make a difference. So. It would Bradley have scored, taken one of them opportunities second half, probably, but he's not available, and so we have to get on with it. It's um, it's, it's it's part and parcel of football. The year is only as good as the depth of your squad you've got, and today I thought they showed they've got a lot of good qualities, but um, Charlton are a decent team, we know that. They've got some very good players, and they dug in and, and got it themselves a result. I'm, I'm not sure how many shots they had. I, I can't remember feeling over-threatened by them, and yet um, they deserve credit because they, they got the three points. His hamstring, you know, he's again. He's, he's had a few hamstrings issue, this, issues this season, and um, um, yeah, listen, hamstrings. You can't mess about with hamstrings. He, he needs to come off it completely. He's due a, he's due a scan, I think, on Monday, and um, hopefully it won't be too severe. But he, he's out injured now, and um, you know, hopefully we'll. He'll be back ready for the start of pre-season. Now you've heard what the gaffers had to say about the match. You've heard a little bit what I've had to say about the match. What's been going on on social media? Well, to be honest with you, it's pretty quiet. Um, but there's a lot of chat on the BRFCS forum. Uh, and what? Just, before we jump into this, there, was a, there seems to be a lot of hate right now with the Blackburn Rovers fans. And I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. We've, we've sealed the deal, people. We've sealed the deal. I don't know why people are moaning uh, within, the, within the Blackburn Rovers camp. It should be just, hey... We got promoted. You know, these these are two these two games are gimmies. You know, whatever happens happens. Obviously, we'd like to win. I'd like to win every game. But if we lose, situations already sorted. So just let's just let's just take it easy, people. Have a chill pill. Have a chill pill. Anyway, Adam Roshina said this. Unsurprising move on the title. All but over. Fans deserve better. That is a little bit of a you know an instant reaction. Obviously, fans coming down. Two chance. Long way to go. Uh, D.E. Dot said, I guess this is why Mowbray tends to stick with the same players. The likes of Payne, Bell, Samuel and Armstrong had a chance to show what they're worth. And good performance or not, the score reads, Charlton 1, Rovers nil, Jim MK2. Very, very disappointed with that. Oxford game likely to be much of a damp squib now. It's not often you get the opportunity to win a title. Opportunity missed. Doxy. Well, it's going to the final day. That's all I... About all I can say. Would have been nice to begin the day a point ahead, but Moby clearly has no real desire to claim the title. Knights out, weak inside. Rightly or wrongly, he feels the job is done. It is. Gavilar Somerset Rover. We'll, we'll post a proper match report later, but my gosh, Charlton were terrible. Just shows we need to get out of this god awful league when we've lost to them. They got away with one. We should have scored at least one in the second half. Uh, I M Y 9. As was stated before the game, a number of our players have been carrying injuries. So why risk them when we've been promoted? I would have loved for us to win the title, but I prefer the likes of Raya and Dak to be fit next season. Here, here. Neo Fox. Uh, Antoton should have got the chance today. Been better than Samuel all season. Shame we didn't get any points today. Exiled in Toronto. Very unlucky not to get something from that game. As said above, the French players picked today showed why Mowbray stuck with the lads carrying injuries. The subs, however, 
a different matter. Travis Whittingham in centre mid looked excellent together. I would uh, I would echo that with Travis. Travis was phenomenal. Uh, Whittingham is okay. Uh, Big Brad John. I guess it bolsters Mowbray's argument for the investment when he goes to India. He needs a squad that can play as well as each other when they step up. We have been pretty lucky with serious injuries. If we uh, lose some key players in the championship, we would be shagged, disappointed for the fans who made the long trip down and a good chance to finish top of the table with Wigan drawing home. Oh well, we are out of Division 3, we need to stay out indeed. And that guy is from Allentown, PA. Okay, that's another Pennsylvanian rover. Awesome. USA Blue. Disappointed. Sounds like we had enough of the game to win it. So not going to beat Mowbray up too much. We now have, or now we have to win and hope we're going to lose. It would be nice to pound gravel up Cook's arse in the last minute of the season, though. We'd love to be losing uh, the score. Two late goals to take it from them. Need two Rovers wins. And the title is ours. Prince Tom, from what I saw, Simon looked half decent today. Did some decent hold up play around halfway, but some lazy passes as well. Payne really, really didn't look up to it, sadly. He never does. Bell looked good enough, and Caddis showed he's never going to be an option. So Wigan only need a point to confirm the title, but I will not lose too much sleep over it, as obviously for the club, it's not a priority. Seems from Twitter that sadly some of our fans were acting like knobs, but hope the majority still had a top day. Tom Phil. Sounds like a lot of changes were forced. Some of these guys have been running through brick walls twice per week for a while now to get the job done. So no wonder. Adrenaline gets you through a lot of this. And uh, and after Doncaster, a lot of it will have evaporated. Would have preferred to see kids instead of people like Callis, who has played a part this season, to be fair. Someone said on Twitter, maybe he's making a bit of a statement to the owners showing how devoid of quality we are when one or two of the big guns are missing. Fair point. I think it's more to do with him giving them thanks for their efforts and patience this season and giving them a chance to us scouts of desperate clubs to have a look. Please, please have a look. Uh, Mike E, I think some fans are overestimating the importance of a title win. It would have been great, but I won't fault Mulberry for finally giving players carrying injuries a rest. I'd rather they got a couple of extra weeks recovery to get ready for preseason and the championship than risk getting more seriously hurt. Indeed. Uh, Charlie Rovers, I watched a game at Rovers. First half, it was a very poor game and Charlton very lucky to score and not a good side. Second half, we were the best team and played some good stuff. Smallwood was our best player. Samuel also had a good game. But the main thing, we are going up to the championship and that's all that matters. Not this rubbish. I've read about people complaining about us not going for the league title. Does it really matter? Not one bit. Big dog steal in case people missed it too. We still have a chance of winning the title. I reckon we will win and Wigan will draw, which will put us on the exact same points. Uh, but they will have the better goal difference. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, why are you new to the channel? But hit the subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. Uh, one game left in the season. That's right, up against Oxford. I will be previewing that game midweek, so please take a look at that. Also, I will be doing a special and awards night. An awards night for Blackburn Rovers where I'll be presenting uh, virtually, of course, presenting virtually uh, my my end of the season awards. We're talking player of the year, young player of the year, uh, goal of the season, all that kind of good stuff. So make, make sure you check that out. I don't know when that will be, maybe Thursday. It depends how things pan out. I've also got to do my stupid Charlie Mulgrew a million times or whatever, that, that the, the one where I mentioned his name. A million times not a million times it's going to be like a hundred thousand times or something ridiculous i've got to do that video soon i've just got to find the time to squeeze it all in but it will happen don't you worry uh and it will be in a chicken suit that's right what am i what am i doing what am i setting myself up for um but anyway yeah i am also on twitter and facebook please check those bad boys out make sure you have if you've not followed me on one of them make sure you do so because that's where all my stuff comes out anyway but yes hey we lose it does happen in football, and it will happen a lot. I'm pretty sure. Or definitely much more than it has done this season, next season, when we're back in the championship. When we're back in the championship, when we're going to be playing the likes of... Who are we going to be playing? Middlesbrough. Possibly Stoke. West Brom, I think, is a given. Uh, you never, never know who else might be dropping down into the division. Uh, we will be playing on Wigan again. Uh, and maybe Bolton. Depends how they their season ends. But, hey, I'm looking forward to it. You look forward to it. If you are, let me know in the comments section below. And anyway, until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there.
you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe.